don't let the muggles get you down. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I am bringing you a Home Bargains haul. I nipped out to do the food shopping this morning and I popped into Home Bargains because I did need a few bits. I ended up spending a lot more than I bargained for. So this is the bag. <laughs> I know it's an Aldi bag. Maybe I'll put it down for a little bit. I know it's an Aldi bag, but I did go to Home Bargains, you know, reusable carry bags and all that. So there's no order to this. I'm just going to pull everything out of the bag and show you what we bought. So let's get into it. If you're new here, my name is Philippa. I put out content one to two times a week on this channel. So if you do like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and also hit subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. And on with the video. So the first thing, gift bag, I find Home Bargains is really good for like gift wrap and like tissue paper and gift bags and things. I mean, this is quite big and it was only 69 pence. So I got that. Boring, I got some shaving foam for the husband. I also got some apples. I eat quite a lot of apples, so I always pick up a pack. Usually I get the bigger bags. Um, they're, they're about a pound and you get maybe 12 in, but they were quite small. So I just got these ones. These are just like green apples, um, I think. Let's see how much they were. They were 99p for six. Next, I got a shower mat. Um, I'm hoping that this, in fact, I'll just get it out. Is it big enough to fit in? Oh, yeah. Mm. No, maybe it's not. Oh, that's a fail. I wanted that to be like a bath mat. Never mind. That was £2.49. I might be able to fashion it into a bath mat somehow. Anyway, moving on. I got a pack of tissues. I always have these to hand. These are just good to put in uh, Noah's nursery bag and my handbag, that sort of thing. So I also got some fairy. We were running out. I usually use, uh, oh, what's it called? I usually use the elbow grease um, big bottle, but they didn't have any, so I picked up this. This is pomegranate and honeysuckle. I haven't actually smelt this, so. Ooh, I like that, that's nice. That's how that was 1.99 for this, and this is 1.2 liters, so. Good for that, good value. Next up, I got some toilet cleaner. This is my favorite one. This is the mountain pine smell, and I'm just gonna open it now, because I love the smell of it so much. Is it weird that I like the smell of toilet cleaner? I think it is. Yes, I got this. This was 99 pence. Got another one of these. This is the Airwick Life Sense like plug-in air freshener. I have one of these at the top of the stairs, which honestly it smells gorgeous. It's, I think it's the same scent. Yeah. Um, I find these ones with a dial a lot better than the just the normal plug-in ones with like the three scents in. I find these a lot better. Uh, these are stronger, so I've got another one of these to go downstairs. This was three ninety nine. Um, I got this wax burner or oil burner. Is it an oil burner or a wax burner? Well, it's a wax burner. I got this wax burner. This was this was ninety nine pence. To go with that, I got some tea lights, and they were ninety nine pence as well. They burn for four hours. I also picked up these uh, wax melts to go in. So these are the Yankee Candle. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Yankee Candle um, Home Inspiration range. And this is the Raspberry Sunday fragrance. So I haven't actually smelt these. Oh. oh my goodness, they smell incredible. These were £1.79 and you get six little, six little segments in the pack. I also picked up this Wickford & Co candle. I don't, I have a love-hate relationship with candles. Now, in our last house, I burnt candles all the time and in the house before that actually as well. Um, but yes, I, I used to love candles all the time, but um, in our previous house, we used to have a big bay window and I used to have candles and photo frames and all sorts of things on there. When it came to moving out, I was cleaning the top of the bay window and it was literally so dirty. It was full of soot, but you couldn't see it. It was just kind of like stained it. Um, it was like a, that PVC material. So ever since then, I stopped burning candles because I thought if that soot is going onto the PVC, what are we breathing in? That was when I switched to the plugins. Now I still do have those, but sometimes I think it's nice to just have a candle. And I saw this one. This is hibiscus and white sands. Oh, it's lovely. It's like, it's not fresh, it's quite fruity. 
and this was, I think this was 2 99 yeah, this was 2 99 Buy this size as a Yankee candle, you probably spend about £25, so 2 99 I mean, you can't go wrong. Also picked up some Flash Bathroom Spray. This is the one with the Febreze freshness, so it smells lovely. Um, I just had cleaned the bathroom yesterday and ran out, so I thought I'd get some more of that. I also picked up some Zaflora. I got two boxes of the Summer Breeze scent. This is my favourite scent, and again, I was running out of this, so I thought I would get some more. I'm just going to open it and smell it, because it smells divine. Oh, it's so nice. I would wear that honestly wear this as a perfume if they ever invented one. They were $1.99 each, and these are the bigger bottles, so you get 250ml in these bottles. I picked up some face masks. Um now I think it's is it Mrs. Hinch that uses these ones? Someone on Instagram uses these ones. I think it's Mrs. Hinch. Um so I got two of the two of these normal moisture bomb ones, and I got wait, what's the difference? These two are super hydrating and glow reviving. I got one right way around, Philippa. Got one that is super hydrating and anti fatigue. This is an anti aging, smoothing, and firming one. So I got one of those as well because you know I'm 30 now. Am I 30? Thought I'd get one of those just to try. Next, I got more face masks um so i got a manuka honey peel off mask got a charcoal peel off mask i got a dead sea peel off mask so they were three oh i forgot to say the prices sorry these all of these were 1.99 each and these were three for two pounds and um, some of these are a gift for a friend um, I'm not going to keep all of the masks some of these are a gift but yeah I got a kind of a selection of everything that they had next up I got two of these lavender bath bombs Noah loves these they're really inexpensive I think they were about 89 pence or something like that bath bombs 59 pence so these were 59 pence each you can't go wrong with that really can you so Noah has really sensitive skin he's had eczema his whole life they don't affect his skin at all he's actually does really well with these so i got him one and i got one for my friend again to go with the face masks and these are the lavender scent they do have they have a couple of other scents um they have an orangey one which i think is like a mango mango strawberry rose and lavender so yeah. okay so that is all of the like toiletry bits next thing i got were these Thomas and Friends, I think you can see those. Thomas and Friends blind bags. Um, I did get five, but Noah's already had two of them. It's his birthday next month, so we're going to put these three away for him. I'm talking too much. So yeah, we've got him five of these, and they are 99 pence each. I'm not going to show these because one of them is for Johnny for Father's Day. <laughs> but yes, I got a couple of gift cards. Um, I mean... I got one card that was 29 pence and another one that was 79 pence. I mean, you can't go wrong. You could pay, I mean, the Card Factory, if it was open, obviously it's still in lockdown, it's not open, but Card Factory are quite good. But if you were to go to somewhere like Tesco's or Sainsbury's, which are like the local supermarkets, which are the only places that are open at the moment, you could pay like £3.50 for one card. So I thought whilst I was in Home Bargains, I'd just stock up on a couple of gift cards that I needed. I also picked up these um cheese snacker jacks noah loves these he has one instead of like having crisps or anything like that we tend to give him one of these because they are healthier i would just prefer him to have something like this than a bag of like salty crisps or anything like that so we tend to give him one of these they are 38 calories per rice cake and if you follow slimming world like i do these are two sins a rice cake they were 89p 89 pence again if you went to the same threes or tesco's or anything like that you'd pay what two pound fifty or something for them maybe maybe not that much but maybe like one pound fifty or something i get these every week from home bargains i hadn't actually realized they were that cheap so i'm well impressed next things i picked up again they're not for me they're for a friend they're a gift um i got a mug which says be happy um and this is so cute i love this i actually might go and get one for myself but it's this lovely like Dalmatian print um, with a pink strip of colour at the bottom. I thought that was really nice. 
I'm not gonna charge for this. Oh no, <laughs> found it, £2.29. I also picked up some Galaxy Hot Chocolate. This isn't for me, again. This is a gift as well, to, I'm making a little hamper for my friend, um, so this is to go in there as well. Who doesn't love hot chocolate? I mean, Galaxy Hot Chocolate, hands down, is the best hot chocolate. Might be an unpopular opinion, I don't like the Cadbury's Dairy Milk one, and all the girls at work don't like the Cadbury's Dairy Milk one either, they prefer the hot chocolate that I buy, which is always the Galaxy Hot Chocolate. This was £2.29 as well. The last two things I bought were some McVitie's Hobnobs, <laughs> milk chocolate covered ones. Guess what? These aren't for me. These are for Johnny and Noah. They love these. And these ones are for me. These are the Oreo Thins. These are so nice. I love Oreos, but they are quite high in sin value if you follow Slim and World. A pack of four, it would be six sins. Or per biscuit, I think it's one and a half sins. I'll have to have a look into that. But, but yeah, they're a nice alternative if you don't want to eat like the big proper fat ones, which are amazing but you know thinking of the calories and things. These were 89p. So oh, that's everything I bought at Home Bargains today. In total I spent £49.07 and pence, and I don't think that's too bad for what I got. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below your favourite things to buy from Home Bargains because although I do have a good look around the shop I always feel like there's something that I'm missing out on that is like really cheap that I just don't see. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell because you can get notified every single time I upload a video, which is usually one to two times a week. If there's anything else you'd like to see from me, also leave that down in the comments below. If you don't already, please come on over and follow me on Instagram because I do post daily on there. It would be lovely to see you over there as well. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.